Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Taichung, Taiwan. And let's just say in Taiwan, people take hot pot seriously. And there are so many different varieties of hot pot. People love to eat hot pot. It's such a social meal. You can cook everything in front of you. It's hot and fresh. And so today the plan is we are going to go on a little hot pot tour. We're going to be eating one hot pot that is more of a modern day luxury, kind of a trendy hot pot. And then we're going to be following that with another hot pot that's more of a traditional local a street food and alleyway both which are extremely popular and which are very highly rated and we're just gonna compare we're gonna eat we're gonna enjoy Taiwanese hot pot so it's all coming up for you right now in this video Welcome to Taichung, and we are getting started at the luxury version right across the street. And you should see this place. One of the reasons that I was most excited to come to this hot pot, which is actually extremely highly rated, is because you can order this huge, like quadruple deck rack of meat. It's so cool. Let's go. Yeah, so you round the corner, and there it is, king of hot pot. So there's almost an endless quantity and choice of hot pots in Taiwan. But this place was very highly recommended, very high rating. We are in the right place. This is the spot. We have a reservation. And look at this giant steak with a sword in it. That's King Arthur style. Oh, that's awesome. Hello. We had a reservation for Mark. All right, great. Oh, here we are at our first hot pot. Yeah. And um, here. You can choose your different soup broths. One of the popular soup broths is the bonito soup, but then they also have the spicy Sichuan broth, which is for sure what I'm going to do. However, this one is unique in that it's not a central hot pot. You have your own hot pot burner. So I guess we can all get our own flavor, our own flavor. There's about 10 different flavors that you get from, can get from roasted rice and green tea to tom yum, to comfort soup, to Sichuan soup. Flipping the page, wait for it, wait for it. There it is. That's what we're gonna get. The meat rack, the mega meat rack. And then additionally, all the salad bar with all the different vegetables. I think it's self-service. I think that's buffet. So it's just the meat you order, but the vegetables is buffet. The vegetable bar here at the front is pretty ornate. There's all the green vegetables, plus they have some tofu, plus they have some different like uh, fish balls maybe, some hot dogs, some sweet potatoes. Oh, all the different instant noodle packs up here as well. As we're, we're waiting for the giant meat platter to come, let's take our vegetables. It has quite a nice feel. I love that, that mist kind of makes it seem like you're in the mountains almost, that, that mist coming out of the vegetables. Mushrooms, some of the needle mushrooms. I'm gonna go for some of the onions, some pumpkin. Oh, oops. Lettuce. Bok choy. Chrysanthemum leaves. Gotta get some tofu. Taiwanese tofu is so good. I really love the Taiwanese bean curd. All the sauce station, there's about 20 different sauces that you can choose from as well. Hot chili oil. Sesame oil. Vinegar. And soy sauce. And we got front row seats here. This is perfect. Oh, here, here. All the soups have just arrived. I got the spicy Sichuan with some of the chili oil on top. You can see some of the cardamom pods on top as well. Got the plain soup. Got the sukiyaki. Oh, the sukiyaki looks really good. You have your own little controller here to make it hotter or less hot. We need to get a good boil going though right now. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh, here it is. The giant meat rack. It's huge. What a display. Oh, he's gonna smoke it. Yes. Oh, wow, some dry ice technique just for that smoke. Oh, wow. It's a hot pot and a show at the same time. Wow. Dry ice steam. One, two, three, four different types of meat, beef and pork. I think it's a type of, I think this one is beef. I'll grab this next piece and the sauce, I think is a little chili oil plus some chilies and green onions in there as well.
good with that sauce. A little heat, a little chili, a little sesame oil maybe. Yeah, the, the hot pot soup is kind of mild, but you do feel a little bit of tingly uh, citron pepper, but very, quite mild. Let's try that premium beef at the top here. Next. Drop that in, and I just he just filled me up, loaded me up with some fresh broth. Going back in for that sauce. Gotta have some chilies, need some. Need to load up with some more chilies, actually. Mm. Oh, that, I think that top line of beef, at the top of the bleachers, I think that's the premium beef. Good too, and quite, not too fatty also. Nice texture, nice flavor. We'll toss in the, the bean curd, the tofu. Might add in some of those vegetables right now as well. That pumpkin's gonna need some time as well. Oh, that's boiling away. That tofu is coming along nicely. Try some of these greens. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I think for this one, I'll go in for some of that chili oil sauce. Salty, but good. I think this one is the pork. That's really tender. The bean curd is ready. I love how juicy it is and it just absorbs all of that broth. You gotta be careful going in, otherwise you just burn yourself with that much broth that it absorbs. I love Taiwanese bean curd. Okay, on to that tofu. I love Taiwanese tofu because it's just a sponge. It just absorbs, but you have to be really careful to not eat it too hot. It'll just scorch your entire mouth. Taiwanese tofu though. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I love the sponginess and the layers. Oh, and it just absorbs so much of that broth. Okay, the final one we have is this. I think it's the bottom one. I think this is a type of pork as well. I think this is our final final meat that we haven't tried yet. Boil this, give it a nice, a nice dunk. I'm gonna load it up with chilies as well. Oh, you really feel the skin. Kind of that chewy skin around the outside. Completes hot pot number one. Uh, the, I mean, I thought the broth was a little bit on the mild side for me. It could have been a lot stronger with a lot more spices, with a lot more numbing Sichuan pepper. Uh, but it's a nice place. I think the meat and the vegetables quality was quite good. It's a very popular place. And I think it was a good experience. The staff are all very nice as well. But from here, later this evening, we'll be eating more of a traditional street food, Taiwanese hot pot, and that's coming up. We're going to the next hot pot restaurant, which is down this alley. This place looks so cool. It's more of a local, traditional Taiwanese hot pot that's gonna be totally different from the hot pot that we had with that massive bleacher of thin meat. This is the spot. Oh, yes, this is, oh, maybe there's a couple in a row. We gotta find the one that we're gonna go to. But this is a cool place down the alley. Oh, this place is so cool. We got a table right here in the alley and we're here early enough to the point where they're not packed yet. But if you come, I think in an hour, when the sun goes down, this place would be packed all the way. But this is a, an amazing place. I love the setting, the atmosphere here. Ding. Nice. 
the whole checklist is in Chinese, but then they do have this menu here, picture of all the things that they offer, all the beef. Vegetable is free. Oh, vegetable, Would you like okay. the rice or noodles? Uh, rice. Rice? Yes. One, two, three. Uh, just two rice. Two, okay. Yes. That's enough. Thank okay. you. Oh. Oh, there it is. That's our pile of everything. Soup has arrived. Everything comes, everything comes really fast. Chase you. I am loving this hot pot, this entire experience. They're so friendly and then everything is so speedy and so fast. And I like how you just get mountains and piles of vegetables and ingredients. That soup looks delicious. There's no, no choices of soup here. You just get one soup. It's loaded with green onions and cabbage. It just looks really good. All that broth. Looks incredible. Smells really good. A little bit herbaceous, but nice and thin. Not too much oil on top. Some cabbages already floating around inside of it already. Oh, there's the shrimp. And then we got two different types of beef. This one they said was Wagyu, and then this one is Taiwanese beef. I think we are fully ready to dig into this Taiwanese hot pot. Everything is here, but before we dig in, you have to see the sauce condiment station. We gotta cross the alley. Check this out. You grab a bowl down here, grab your chopsticks down here, and then you can just load up. This is a sauce. I'm gonna add some of this. Chili and oil, green onions, garlic. I think soy sauce and vinegar. All right, I think we're good to start. Okay, so this is everything. I'm gonna start with that Taiwanese beef which looks fantastic. This looks like the highlight here. Much more my style. All right, this has to be the first, the first bite in the hot pot here. Should be good. Yeah, not completely sure what I mixed in here, but at least there's chilies, lots of chilies and lots of garlic. That's what matters. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that Taiwanese beef is so good. I love how lean it is and how it's a bit thicker cut. But you really feel the flavor of the beef, the natural beef. That's probably my favorite bite of this entire hot pot tour so far. I think I'm just gonna toss in all these meatballs. These are beef meatballs. You can see it's almost like, you can just see the grains of the meat in here. I'm gonna toss these in. Whoa. Let me taste that soup broth actually on its own. But it's, uh, it's kind of like a neutral, a little bit herbaceous and a little bit salty. Let's try that broth real fast, just the broth on its own. Oh, it's just like a mild but soothing broth, possibly a bone broth. Toss in the pumpkin. Also the corn needs to go in and probably boil for a while as well, so let's add that. Oh, whoa. And let's try that other beef. I think this one is the Wagyu. That's really nice, actually. I like how it's quite lean. And the, the slices here are a little bit thicker than another place. All right, great. That sauce mixture is not bad, actually. Lots of garlic, lots of chilies. A little bit salty, but so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good, too. Again, that beef is lean. They both beefs are good, but that Taiwanese beef actually is a better flavor and it's more fresh. Okay, I'm just gonna add in some of the, the bean curd skin and you kind of just crumple this up and it breaks and you know it's gonna just completely absorb that broth. Just throw it all in. Oh, this is so much fun. And some of the needle mushrooms. Yeah, you see how that, that bean curd skin just totally, totally goes way down really fast. Oh, here we have a piece of cabbage. Okay, let's go, and, let's go cabbage. Oh. I love everything about this place. This is so good. The flavors are delicious. The ingredients are actually really fresh. And then there's this setting here in the alley just the old classic. I mean, this is my kind of place. Okay, let's try some more of that bean curd skin. This does cook really fast because it's really thin. And then this was the sauce that was already on the table. Oh, is this, is, this was one of the sauces up there though too, I think. Let's try this sauce.
I love bean curd chicken. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's a little, not too salty, a little bit nutty, and not really spicy, but kind of nutty, and a little bit oily, but very fragrant. Okay, I'll go in for these beautiful shrimp. Probably drop a couple in, because they might take a little while, because they're frozen. Okay, I think the, the beef meatballs should be, should be ready too. They've kind of swollen a little bit, absorbed some of that broth and they're kind of, they're pretty big. Oh, we got a double. Oh, you can tell they're kind of natural. Let's try that meatball. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that meatball is incredible. You can taste how natural the beefiness is and the sponginess of it. Man, that's a quality meatball. Oh, I love the texture. But definitely a dip in the chili and garlic would be be even better. It goes really good with rice as well. Look, I think the shrimp should be right. Yeah. Oh man. Let's go in for that shrimp. Oh. And then get that divine. There we go. And a little bit of chili, and green onions and garlic. I'm gonna use that for my shrimp sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Shrimp is actually very sweet, muscular, really good. And yeah, with some of the rice. Mmm. Oh man, starting to really warm up. So satisfying. And I think, I mean, one of the reasons why Taiwanese love hot pot so much is because it's a great family meal. You can get together with friends and family, join around the table, all huddled around a central pot. Everything is cooked hot and fresh. And then on top of that, it's comforting. It is customizable. The customization of sauce, so that you can make it to your own liking, the way you like it. I think it's something everyone appreciates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Arigato. 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 No. America. Thai uh, America. America. Yeah, America. Thailand. Thailand. Oh, oh, say can you say <laughs> what <laughs> you ride? Thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. Very good, very good. Thank you, yummy, Thank yummy. you very much. <laughs> I had read that the owner was a character. There, that must be him. Oh, oh, the national anthem. What a hilarious guy. Okay, another component was that corn, and I think it's been boiling for about 15, 20 minutes. I think it's ready now. Flaming hot. Absorbed all of that broth and that meat juice. And sweet and crisp. What a hot pot experience. That just made my day. Um, and so that completes this hot pot tour in Taichung, Taiwanese hot pot. Two totally different experiences. And if I'm being honest, this is totally my style. I love the, the back alley atmosphere, the setting, the friendliness, even the taste of the food. And that's going to be it for this hot pot tour. I'll have also the information in the description box as well as prices where you can check out, uh, where you can compare the price also. Uh, but actually, to be honest with you, I mean, the quality was great here at this alleyway street side hot pot as well. Goodbye from Taiwan. And also make sure that you stay tuned for all of the Taiwanese food and other videos. You're not going to want to miss all of the delicious food coming up. Well, I want to say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next video.